Hi everyone, this is Chris from barbove.com and today we're going to be doing one of my new types of posts and that is experimenting. Um, and today we're going to be experimenting with ice. So I've been running a barrel aged uh, cocktail program for the last year, year and a half and I've always had this thought in the back of my head of hey wouldn't it be interesting to fill these barrels that I've been using over the last year, year and a half or so with water, extract some of the flavor that has been building in these barrels, make ice out of that water and see if it contributes or detracts from the a cocktail. Um, so what I have in this, in this barrel here is um, in the interior lining, obviously the wood has soaked up a lot of the characteristics of the bourbon, the sweet vermouth and the bitters that I've added to it. Um, but this is full of water at, at the moment. I've actually let the water sit for about 10 to 14 days and uh, what I'm going to do is pull the water out of that barrel, I'm going to freeze it, and then we're going to examine the ice that comes out of it um, after it's all frozen. And after that point, we're going to make a cocktail or um, probably just pour some bourbon over the ice and see if it helps or detracts from the final, uh, final taste of the whiskey or bourbon. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, let's see what happens. And uh, you'll be able to see pretty quickly what happens just by my face. If it's that disgusting and uh, it's going to be hilarious to watch. So stay tuned. So now we're going to pour out the water uh, from the barrel into a glass and then we want to show you the color change uh, that has happened over the last two weeks that the water has been in contact with all that wood and uh, the bourbon. So you can definitely see the color change that's happened. So here we have the two different ices side by side. This one here is a regular ice. All it is is water and um, this one here is our barrel ice and you can immediately see the, the color difference what you might not be able to see on camera is the textural difference between the two um, the barrel ice is a lot more crystals in it it's just got a texture all the way through it um, whereas the ice is just like ice you would get in a restaurant um, the one thing that you might not be able to see is uh, that we're noticing is just how much faster the barrel ice is melting versus the regular standard ice. Obviously there's alcohol that is present in this ice just because it's in the barrel um, so it doesn't surprise me that it's melting so much faster. Um, the biggest shock to me is actually just the crystal structure on the ice um, that is different between the two. Shouldn't be that big of a surprise but it's just an interesting observation. So there you have it. Um, it's, a, it's been an interesting experiment and um, something I will probably have fun with in the future. One of the applications that I already see right now is as the ice melts it actually imparts a lot more flavor um, to, the, to the drink. So I mean the, the one obvious point is that um, if I was going to serve a barrel aged Manhattan on the rocks why not use the ice that you know from the water from the same exact barrel. It's essentially the same thing as um, you probably have heard the term branch water. So you're returning, you know, you're adding more flavor to it um, than you would normally with just regular ice. Uh, so that's the first application I see. The second application I see is that, you know, if you want to add another interesting layer of flavor with a completely different cocktail, um, that's something you, you can do with this. Um, it's going to be really, really subtle, um, but it, it's definitely a possibility. I wouldn't recommend shaking um, with the barrel ice. Um, as you can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it fractures a lot easier than regular ice. I can see the crystals running all the way through it and it kind of breaks apart pretty quickly and melts very quickly. Um, so I'd probably suggest um, not using it as a, uh, for shaking. But definitely if you're going to be um, stirring a cocktail, I can see this being a really interesting addition to it. Or if you're just putting a cocktail over ice, um, this would be another additional layer of uh, complexity that you add to a final drink. So those are my thoughts on barrel aged ice and uh, we'll continue to to have fun and experiment with this in different ways. One of my uh, wife's thoughts that she brought up to me um, before filming was, hey wouldn't it be interesting to take the water out of the barrel, carbonate it and serve it in the cocktail. So we might try that next. So uh, stay tuned um, but until then have a great shift and we look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabove.com.
this barrel that we have here on, on the bar, um, I'm sure you can see it. Oh, that was a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know, sometimes I just open my mouth and poop comes out. <laughs>